Hello and welcome once again to RimWorld. So straight away, let's unpause and get things moving. Now, I would very much like this room to be cleaned up as quickly as possible because that would definitely help our people sort of move um, when they've got somewhere to actually go and eat properly and you know play games and things like that. That that should help. Uh, I kind of also want to install these inside, or at least one of them inside. Uh, okay. The other one, to be honest, let's just take apart. We don't need it. I'm going to lower this for the minute to 100 just because there's other jobs that need doing before, you know, that. That isn't as important. Our power is going out. Ooh, yay, the light went on. I think with, well, with two light that might actually be bright enough. We'll fit the third one anyway, just to, you know, make sure it's bright enough in there, but... Yeah, I think with two, that is pretty good. I don't know if I want target building that. You smooth the floor. John is a better builder. And so I would much prefer John to actually do the building of the chairs. Uh, I mean, target is, what, a four. Yeah, not exactly the best skill. Go and eat. Someone clean all this up? Bishop, can you haul as much rice as possible? And Blair, same thing. All the rice, all the berries, and then all the potatoes. Seriously? Come on. Get a haul stuff. I don't want you to then just walk away. Seriously, just do what I'm telling you to do. Still don't pick them all up. Oh well, got a lot of them. Uh, Lippy, you're on your way back, right? all those potatoes while you're at it. And those potatoes. Thank you. It's a shame that I don't have like auto sweepers or conveyor belts or anything like that in this series. Oh, I missed them from the last series already. And at this point we can shut those doors. We can also just take that apart. We don't need it anymore. Heck, the only reason that was there is so that, you know, when this was a fridge, it worked better. We could hunt. Don't really want to mess with them and the cougar. Not while we can just hunt some buffalo. Yeah, that, that'll do.
we do have a decent amount of meat anyway, so it's not too bad. John, what are you doing? You're smoothing a floor. No. Oh, we don't have any wood. That's what happens when you build a lot of things out of wood, something. Right, there we go. Lots of tree cutting to do. Oh, nice. Getting some cloth. Well, at least the floor smoothing is being done. It's not like anyone's idle. Which is nice. Must admit, I still sort of want carpet or different floorings for like bedrooms and stuff like that. Though for the moment, the smooth floor is better, so yeah, may as well keep that. Can you haul that rice, those potatoes, and that cloth, please? Ooh, we can also move the chest set in here. There we go. Just the research bed. Do I want research in its own room? I kind of do. Preferably like a 9 by 7 ish room for research. Oh, and we've just run out of power. Right, turn that reactor on, uh, John. Go flick that switch. Okay, that'll keep our fridge running at least. Let's take those apart and get another solar panel built. Uh, awesome. Combat supplier. Don't know if I'll have anything to trade with you, but may as well take a look. Mm. Yeah, I need that built, really. We are using a lot more power than we were, so it's understandable that, you know, power is now a problem. Uh, Blair, where are you at? You're there. Well, you're heading outside anyway, so I'll let you get outside with the rock at least. And then trade with that. Okay. Ooh, remote explosives. They've brought some. An EMP remote explosive, that's kind of awesome. They've also got medicine. Ooh, a lot of medicine. Taking that. Do I want the explosives? Sort of. <laughs> Ooh, a shock rifle. Now that I definitely would like. That will let us um, put people down without sort of killing them. Low rate of fire, loaded with less lethal ammun ammunition. Um, excellent armor penetration, but the force of, uh, force of impact can result in significant trauma. So basically, being shot by this hurts like hell, can injure people, but it also pierces armor. So, yeah, that that is, and it's in excellent condition. Yeah, I've got to take that. And 
and yeah, nothing else I really want. Do I want to sell my mini grenades? I, I'm really not going to use grenades very often, so... In fact, most of the weapons that I've got I'm not going to use, so I may as well just sell to re recoup some of the cost. That'll be fine. So, who's getting that gun? Uh, Blair, how about you prioritize hauling that gun so it doesn't, you know, degrade in the sun or anything. Now, obviously, Lippy is our best um, shooter. But Lippy's got sort of the actual proper gun, and he goes hunting. John has a 9. That's pretty good. Yeah, John is with his 9. So, uh... Go and equip that, please, man. Thank you. And... Yeah, you've got no shooting skill. You've got barely anything. You've already got the same gun he just dropped. Okay, that's fine then. Oh, that's awesome. So the next time we're attacked, we might actually manage to uh, put someone down without killing them. That would be interesting. That We might need a prison a lot quicker than I thought then. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we, we might just need a prison a lot sooner than I thought we would. Because of that gun. I am glad they turned up. Uh, remove roof, because that really doesn't need a roof anymore. Yep, and then ignore. Oh, you're deconstructing a cooler. Okay. Here you are. How about you haul some rice? And Lippy hauls some medicine. And Target hauls some pokies. I think I need to knock hauling up on these guys to a two just like cleaning is because that's what I need them to focus on really because otherwise stuff is just sitting outside and you know gonna rot and I'm not too happy with that well, at least we're getting through these trees that I've asked them to cut down we'll have a lot of wood by the end of this and that is a poor condition chair because Choco did it instead of John. Uh, at least he's building these last ones. Not really? Resting. Now just finish that chair, would you? The last chair, just finish it. No, he needs to go get some wood to finish it. Fair enough. Oh, it's an excellent chair. Nice. And that's excellent as well. I love how excellent can count as art. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, at this rate, I'm probably going to need some more bedrooms and things like that, so... Uh... In this whole area can pretty much be now that's a six by six for a bedroom. Okay. 
Okay, so if every single one of them becomes a bedroom... cancel these bits like that so that they only build one bedroom at a time. In fact, I'm probably going to need to cancel that bit. Because I really don't want them sort of digging out to there and then getting sealed in when they cover that over or something. Let Lippy dig it out. He's much quicker than you. Look at that. He's, he's done three three of the walls in the same time. Four of the walls in the same time it took you to do one. My god. Still, it's getting done. And John is still smoothing flooring. Nice. Again, not complaining because eventually that room will look better. It already looks pretty good because of all the uh, masterwork and excellent chairs, so... Actually, I don't think there's a single masterpiece one, but... They're all good condition. Which is nice. So I suppose this can be a prisoner bedroom until we actually get a new colonist to take it over. Makes sense to do it in that way. Really? Oh, never mind. I do feel sort of sorry for Choco. He's so bad at digging and yet he tries so hard. Every three rooms. No, I can't fit it in because it doesn't have a clear path. Will it need to be every three rooms? Yeah, because I mean... 19, 18... These aren't exactly staying up to the right temperatures. I could just link these rooms anyway. Yeah, you know, for now, let's just link these as well. I could just put a heater every sort of two room spaces or something. And just have them all interlinked anyway. That'd work. Smooth the floor as well, please. Smoothing the floor does take a while, and we still got quite a bit of floor that we need to smooth. Uh, that can be turned off at this point. We seem to have enough power. In fact, let's get a couple extra batteries in place. With three more batteries, we're going to end up using two fuses if the power does go bang. But I think that's fine. So hopefully now we'll store a little bit of extra energy in the day and we won't run out in the night. Good, good. Well, I am still liking the way our colony is going. Uh, ooh, recreation. Let's see if I can put down the billiards table now. I can. So yeah, it was the rocks that were sitting there in the way. Uh, although... I actually want it there. Is 
It's nice as well that I have enough cloth for it now. In fact, I'm not... Oh, well. I was going to say I don't have enough wood for it, but evidently that's a lie. We've just not gathered it all. So, yeah. We just need to actually go and bring it in. I mean, that's pretty much your entire job, Blair. And you're watching the Aurora. Go and haul some wood. Well, at least you can carry quite a lot at once. A little worried about the temperature in some of these rooms. I don't want to put too much strain on these three uh, to keep the temperature low, and I don't want to fill the base with loads of heaters. I mean, we're only sort of a degree or two lower than where I want it for the minute, and obviously, some of these rooms are isolated you know, from the heat itself, because, you know, I mean, these will cover all the bedrooms and the corridors, but I may end up putting vents in all of the rooms, just so it sort of stabilises across the base. Yeah, you know what, we'll do that. Next to a door will be a vent, except for that one for obvious reasons. Ooh, we've just finished researching machining. Lovely. So, uh, gunsmithing. We are slowly working our way to gun turrets. It's just going to take a little while. Hopefully we'll bring most of that wood in, because we've only got 75 sitting there at the moment, which not exactly a good amount but I think that is uh, where we're gonna end this episode guys set that to prisoner bed so hopefully you have enjoyed maybe in the next episode we'll get to test out John and his uh, bolt action shock rifle but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like comment and subscribe and I shall see you next time